It was nice of Nana to let me stay at her place for a few days, so I can have some time alone to think. I just need to wait for things to cool down, so I can go home again. Nana must have locked the door when she left. I wonder if she left me a note somewhere. How could I ever forget? That was the summer mom was traveling for work, so I had to stay here. The key should be in the shed then. Ace. Hey, buddy. Ugh, boy. Is it good to see you? I should probably look for that chore list she mentioned. It should be on the table, I think. Check on mom's memorial behind the house. I think the candles might need to be relit. Miss you every day, Mom.
Now this cooking can't be beat. Got a bad feeling about this. Shit, the duffel bag. I can't leave that out in the rain. Didn't I leave it here? Weird. Guess I'll check the shed next. I'll just take this to the bedroom for now. Drop it. Take a nice long hot bath before the rain is the death of me. Shit, you got me worried. Don't go running off like that. Come on, buddy.
package. Wind's picking up. I should move Nara's wash bins to the shed. Was this open before? Hello? Anyone there? Hello, Cole. How was the drive here? I hope it wasn't too uncomfortable for you. It has been a few years since you visited your old family home, hasn't it? Who is this? the director of your next film, Cole. I've got a role for you to fill, and I know you're hankering for some work. I'm not desperate enough to work with someone pulling some shady shit like this. If you want to work together, drop the Psycho Stalker Act and contact my agent. Goodbye. I wouldn't be so fast to turn me down, Cole. Hear me out at least. <laughs> no. Now leave me the hell alone, or I'm gonna call the police. Wait, where's my keys? What the fuck? Didn't I put them in the holder?
Ace? What the hell did you do with my dog? Now, now, don't get saucy. Little Ace isn't dead yet. Where is he? I've got him right here with me. And if you want to see him again, you'll play along. Now, I was generous enough to do this out of the kindness of my heart. But it looks like you need some extra motivation. Follow my instructions and you'll get Widow Ace back. <sighs> what do you need me to do? That's more like it, Cole. You're going to help me gather footage for a film. Something that'll really blow the socks off our viewers. How about we start off with something simple to ease into it, huh? For this scene, I'd like for you to go behind your house and pick up the present I left for you. With it, you're going to vandalize your mother's favorite tree. I know the relationship with your mother wasn't the greatest while she was alive, so why not take this chance to blow off some steam and show up your true feelings? Fine. Just don't hurt Ace, please. Why, Cole? That depends on you holding your end of the bargain. Oh, and obviously don't try to contact the police. You wouldn't want to see me upset, would you? Now, let's get to work, shall we? Done. Now give me back my dog. Whoa, whoa, don't be so hasty. I haven't gathered nearly enough footage for the film yet. We still have work to do. That wasn't the deal. Now where's Ace? Quiet! If you don't shut up and do as you're told, the dog will die and you will join it soon after. <sighs> What's next? That's the spirit. Now, I want you to grab that duffel bag you brought home with you. I know what's in the duffel bag, Cole. All the money you stole from your charity. And you thought to bring it here with you? Not smart, Cole. Not smart at all. What the hell was I supposed to do with it? It's not like I could take it to the bank. Cole, listen, I'm not here to question your life choices. That's for your fans and the police. What you're going to do is get rid of the evidence. Burn every last dollar in that bag. All that work down the fucking drain. I burned it all. I don't know how this is gonna help me though. It won't, Nimrod. But it does make for good footage. You'll be viewed as this compassionate, regretful man seeking to make amends for his past crimes. Probably. I don't know. I don't really know. I'm not people. This better not end up with me in a prison cell. All right, Cole. Next scene. Do you remember when you were filming your last movie? Your stunt double had an accident on set because you were too hungover to act. Now, I would have liked to have had you recreate that accident, but we don't have time 
or resources for it. So instead, I'm going to have you take a knife and cut off your own finger. Simple enough, right? What? No! That actually was his fault, not mine! He was supposed to be a fucking professional! Blah, blah, blah. I'm Cole Westwood. I'm too hungover to do my job. You want to see your dog again, Cole? Do the scene. If not, well then who's to say what'll happen next? Psychopath! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, Cole, you crazy motherfucker, you good shit! That is going to be a killer movie when we're done. Ooh, it's going to be awards for the both of us. Fat stacks of cash in my head. Oh, I can't wait. We've only got two scenes left now, two. Two scenes. What did I do to deserve this? I left you a present in the back of your truck. Bring it in and set it up, would you? <sighs> What's he want this time? There. It's all ready. Good. Now, here's the fun part. You're going to sit in front of that camera and confess all of the horrible things you've done. I haven't done anything wrong, damn it. Shut up, sit down, confess, or be punished. I'm not hearing any confessing. Fine. Fuck. Uh, let's see. I hadn't visited my mom in years. Before she died, I mean. She kept inviting me up for Thanksgiving or Christmas, but there's always something else. I wonder why she didn't just come and visit me. I mean, why should I have to be the one who has to drive six and a half hours upstate just to see her? I had more important things to do. Things that were actually worth my time. She should have tried harder, not me. I stole money for my charity. Tens of thousands of dollars. The money was supposed to go to those kids, and I just took it from them. But I needed it more. I did. The bank was going to repossess my cars. I, I couldn't let that happen. Acting doesn't pay what it used to. And yeah, I cheated on her. My wife. Ever since our son was born, she's just been horrible. Inside and out. Always needing things and bitching about this or that. So when her sister came on to me, huh, could you blame me? I was just trading him for the younger model. That's all. She'll get over it. She always does. Yeah. Yeah, I happened to be drunk on set that day. So what? Is it my fault that dumbass had to take my place for the stunt? My fault he didn't stand on the right fucking spot and lost his arm? He should have been more careful. Some professional he was. He didn't deserve that payout the company gave him for his troubles either. Hell, if anything, it should have gone on me for making us waste a day of filming. 
There. Done. Happy now? You're not done yet. Cole, what did you think this was? What? That's it. All of my confessions. There's nothing else to say. Don't lie to me, Cole. I know, I know what happened on that road. Had a few too many drinks, did you? Thought even with all those martinis, I could still drive home. You really thought you'd be fine? You couldn't. That's impossible. There was no one else there. Confess, Cole. Let me take those weights off your shoulders. I... I killed a man. Dad, keep going. I was on my way home from a party. I'd been drinking all night. And he just... He came out of nowhere. I stopped and checked on him, but he, he wasn't breathing. So I... I got back in my car and I left. I didn't want to leave him, I swear, I, but I couldn't help him. He was in pieces, scattered across the fucking road. So I went home. And, and the next day, I called my Nana and I asked if I could stay at her place for a while. And so you came here to hide from the world, to hide from everything you've done. You're a coward, Cole. Shut up. As much as I've enjoyed our time together today, Cole, all good things must come to an end. So this is it? After all this, I'll finally be free? You'll let me go? Of course! Simply finish the last scene, and I'll be out of your hair for good. I promise. All right, let's get this over with. Always with the rush, Cole. Slow down. Smell the roses, eh? Just tell me what it is you want, so I can be done with you and with all of this. Fine, jeez. Don't get your panties in a twist. Last scene is a simple, easy one. Burn down your grandmother's cabin. What? Come on, Cole, don't play dumb. I know you heard me. You're going to burn down your Nana's house, burn it to the ground, and walk away from the life you knew. Why? She doesn't deserve to be homeless. Leave her out of this. Cole, Cole, Cole. You lied, cheated, stolen, and even killed your way through life. And you thought it wouldn't come back to bite you? What makes you so special? But that was me, not her. Punish me. Nah, you're going to get what's coming to you one way or another, but I don't think that's enough. This bad energy you've got going on, it's got to go somewhere, you know? Burn it down, Cole. Haven't you walked away from enough? burning. It's all burning down. What have I done? Ace, at least you're okay, buddy. Come on, let's go home. It's time for me to atone for everything I've done. <laughs>